What's good, everybody? You rocking with the one and only. Excuse me today on this cold morning. For me, it's cold. All right. Let's get ready. Sean P. Diddy Combs, son, Christian King Combs, said his strangest party experience involved Paris Hilton. All right. Now, Ephesians 5.11, off the rip, Paris Hilton. They're doing this a lot now. Now, they're starting to tell on each other. So, when you see that, Ephesians 5.11, just know that. The very, very first one they did it, I did that. So the market, but look, they're doing this all the time now. They're always including someone else in their sin and cleaning them so, some way, shape, or form. Now he's saying she was included in the strangest party experience. Okay. Now let's let's start here. Acts chapter 26, starting at the 25th. But he said, I am not mad. Most noble Festus, but speak for the words of truth. And so soberness for the king knoweth of these things before whom also I speak freely for I am persuaded that none of the, these things hidden from him for his for this this thing was not done in a corner. King Agrippa said unto Paul almost thou persuadest me to be a Christian and Paul said I would to God. That not only thou, but also all the that hear me this day were both almost in altogether such as I am except these bonds. And when he had thus spoken, he the king rose up and the governor and Bernice. And they that sat with them. And when they were gone aside, they talked between themselves, saying, This man doeth nothing worthy of death or of bonds. Then said Agrippa, Man might have been set at liberty if he had not appealed unto Caesar right there. It's the principality. So it's the power of the principality that has full control of the situation, abuse of power. So we're looking at abuse of power. What happened with Diddy? Abuse of power. What happened with his sons, including him, Ephesians 5.11, abuse of power. Right there, this goes Ephesians 5.11, one to one. The word of God is not null and void in anything I read. You read it one to one, it'll tell you. I'm breaking this one down to you because so you can get it. It's time to get it and people not to be confused because that's silliness. This is talking about being a Christian right there. Let's go. Proverbs chapter 24, starting at the 10th. If thou faint in the day of adversary, thy strength is small. If thou forbear to deliver them that are drawn unto death and those that are, are ready to be slain. If thou sayest, behold, he knew it. Not, um, he knew it. Uh, miss, miss doeth not he that pondereth the heart consider it right there. Do you ponder the heart? Do you think of things you do in your heart before you do it right there? A lot of people, some things you do out of spite, some things you do out of anger, some things you do out of your happiness. Do you think of it? He's asking, do you? If you can and you have the ability to think of it and you don't, you're going to go to hell. Because if you don't partake in that, then you're doing things willingly. Therefore, you're willingly denying him. You're willingly. Remember, we talked about this, yo. At this point, come on now. I used the book and I did this. You guys said use the book. Used in the book. Shown it now. There's nothing to be argued here. You're willingly doing the sin. You're willingly sinning against God. You're not sinning against your body. It's your temple, which your soul resides, which God owns. Therefore, you're sinning against God. Whenever you do things like that, man. Let's go day of adversity. Thy strength is small. If thou forbear to deliver them that are drawn unto death and those that are ready to be slain, thou sayest, behold, he knew it not. I'm going to say not. Yeah, not. Doeth not he that pondereth the heart, consider it. And he that keepeth thy soul, doeth not he know it? And shall not he render to every man according to his works? That's God. I just did that yesterday. I did the verses for that. You can't say nothing about that. Rending to a man according to his works. That was yesterday's. Exactly yesterday's. My son. All praise the most high God right now. That was yesterday's. Right there. Brought it back. 
I can't make this up. Neither do I choose this on my own stead, but with the power of him. Only through him can I do this. Let's go. For real, man. Remember, he's talking about being set at liberty. At liberty, liberty, justice for all. That means liberty to do what you are, represent what you want. Anything you represent to be it and show it with pure pride of whoever you are to do it. Don't mind the deceiver. That's how that works, man. Because it was dead silent. That's how it works, man. Because when I'm spitting this truth, it's too true. Watch. Because I'm about to tell y'all something so real. Let me get to it. Because he's trying to block it. Behold, he knew it. Not do if not the that ponder of the heart, consider it. And he that keepeth thy soul, do if not he know it, and shall not he render it to every man according to his works. My son, eat thou none honey because it is good, and the honeycomb which is sweet to thy taste. So she shall he the knowledge of wisdom be unto thy soul, whom thou hast found it, then there shall be a reward, and thy expectation shall not be cut off. Lay not wait. To, to wicked men against the dwelling of the righteous spoil not his resting place right there you always respect the person's resting place you don't just barge in the door and like no right there what did i say everybody who has dreams right now has a dream expectations when you die leave this earth right now all of you what did i say when you follow the word of god and do what god says you make that dream you get that gift for eternity you go to either a bad place or a good place for eternity. I've been saying that in every theme and every pastor. I've been saying it. Even these pastors been attacking me on the low. You've seen it. I'm telling you the truth. I read it verbatim. How can I be wrong? They preach from the same book. Now your resting place. It's not just your place. You come on now. It's not just the place you sleep. It's the place your soul resides and your body, your resting place. Because if you're in Christ, and oh, we haven't even got there yet. In Psalms, talking about defending from the snare of fire. When Psalms 91, we really get into that. That's talking about what it's hinting at. Understand, it gets deeper than that. We're talking about resistance against all darkness, all evil, all evil thoughts, all pain, all hunger, all thirst. You have resistance against it all with Christ. And what happens is when you give it to Jesus Christ of faith and hope in him, with him, you can defend and defeat all things. I am keep telling you this. That's why this wicked spirits people, it makes them think where it's talking in your ear. It's not your voice. It's something trying to stop you from hearing me because I'm speaking truth. When you put your faith in Jesus Christ and you say, Lord, lead me, show me, you will get exactly what he has for you without any pain or anything to exchange. He doesn't ask for exchange. He asks for what? Hebrews 11, 1. What? Philippians 4, 13. What? Come on. John chapter what? 1, what was it? 1, 12? Come on, man. I've been spitting this for how many years now? This is right here, right in front of you. Let me finish up, man. Because that, like, let's go, man. All right, I, that is the wrestling place. All right, let's go there, with the crux and whatever. We got to get finished here. All right. Man, Proverbs. Let me finish this off. This is um, ch still chapter 24, verse 17. For a just man falleth seven, to seven times and rises up again. But the wicked shall fall into mischief. Rejoice not when thine enemy falleth and let not thine heart be glad when he stumbleth. And even that, my brothers, when people come against us or say things against us, we're not happy to see them fall. We're like, dang, God, we see something else bad happen. Because what happens is that deceiving spirit they took on, takes them over, starts sending them into mischief. Bad, bad, bad. And laughing at them. The spirit. Understand, it's not God. That's not God. Unless you put your faith in him, then you're safe. You're secure. Right here, your resting place is anywhere that you are. God goes with you, stepping with you. You you say you walking, you got a limp today, he limping with you. All you got to do is say, Lord, help this limp. He help you walk a little better. This is why I say trust in the most high God. Let's finish up, yo. All praise the most high God. Real talk, yo. I'm telling you, Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, Jesus Christ. Right there, man. I'm trying to tell you guys. Now, let me do this. Psalms chapter 81. And I'm reading, listen, I'm reading scripture. What's going against this? I'm reading it. I'm not just saying it. I'm reading it. Psalms 81, starting at the six. I remove this shoulder from the burden 
His hands were delivered from the pots. Thou caughtest in trouble, and I delivered thee. I answered thee in the secret place of thunder. Secret place of thunder? Come on, I proved then at the waters of Meribah. Selah. He's talking about what he did. That miracles at. Hear, O oh my people, and I will testify unto thee, O Israel, if thou built but built hearken unto me, there shall no strange God be in thee. Neither shalt thou worship any strange God. I am the Lord, all caps, thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Open thy mouth wide, and I will fill it. But my people would not hearken to my voice, and Israel would no wise, no more, no more of me. So I gave them up unto their own hearts, lust, and they walked their own in their own counsels. We wept when we were when we remembered Zion. He's hurt because of what you guys did. We changed our hearts upon the willows in the midst thereof. For there are they that carried us away captive required of us a song. And they that wasted us required of us mirth saying, sing us one of the songs of Zion. How should the sing song of the Lord's song in a strange land? I forget thee, O Jerusalem. Let my right hand forget her cunning. If I do not remember thee, let my tongue cleave to the root of my roof of my mouth. If I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy, remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. O daughter of Babylon, that's us, America, who are to be destroyed. Happy shall thee be that rewardeth thee as thou has served us happy shall thee be that taketh and deserveth thy little ones against the stone right there that's crazy because these dudes are teaching a younger generation to do wickedness the same way they were teaching in the past when they were using those foreign gods doing foreign things that have nothing to do with christ in the past teaching it, they're trying to do that, raise their kids up to do that. Therefore, God's going to shun them. He's going to destroy them. So we have to get things in tune and stand for what's righteous in America, period. That's what all of this stuff is right here. Again, we got to be more righteous in America. Do the righteous things. Raise kids righteously the way God wants them, not the way man wants them. God, okay? G-O-D, capital G, not little g. Little G's false gods. I said be against that. And all them things that this guy calls on them, comedic things, the fallen angels, they're all little G's, fallen gods. No power, weak, defeated, foes, crushed. Because Jesus Christ is up here choosing. And if you're choosing them, you're choosing the devil. Because that is the deceiver. Deceiving you to think that that has any power. You're deceived. That's why it'd be you do a Amr al speech and something happens. That's why. Because it's wickedness, it's black magic, it's against God, the capital G, known as Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is alive right now behind me, chilling in the sky, chilling. You can't see him, there's nothing to see, but he's chilling there, looking around, like looking, is anybody ready? Here's me reading, like facts. I don't need a yes man, that's my yes man, right there, in the sky, chilling, with his arms folded, like, yup. All right, guys, like, who's ready? Because he's ready. He's not playing with you. He's telling the truth. Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior. Lord of Lords, King of Kings, man. Open your eyes. You got to. All praise the Most High God. Jesus Christ, yo. Jesus Christ, man. Jesus Christ. Philippians chapter 1. <laughs> man. Peter. First Peter chapter 1. Psalms chapter 1. Ephesians chapter 1. Took you through Philippians chapter 3, chapter 2. I took you through all that. Let's go. We ain't done. All rights reserved.